If you watched my Apex Legends config video, you know I like to optimize it for the most freedom while playing. A big problem with configs is we have a limited number of fingers, and sometimes we can't strafe a certain way while also changing weapon or using an ability because it's on the same finger, especially in a game like Apex which needs a lot of commands. I've also been asked what I would bind leaning keys to. I don't play any games that need lean commands, but I have wondered what I would do. As a Quake player, I know dodging is extremely important. You want to keep your movement fingers as free as possible, so I'd probably have to bind lean to little finger and thumb, leaving my index, middle and ring fingers to do the movement. But that would mean I lose a lot of other abilities while leaning. So it got me thinking, what if there's another way? That's where the pedal comes in. I've been wanting to test something like this for years, because it just makes so much sense. Sure, you need more coordination, but you don't have to sacrifice a finger to use a certain command. So thanks to Corsa, I was able to get my hands on an Elgato Stream Deck pedal to test, which has three pedals, left, right, and one in the middle. You can assign them to keys in the software, so you set lean to whatever they're set to, and now you can lean by using your feet. Much better. In Apex, I don't need to lean, but I moved my config around so that I could change the zoom on the scopes. I left the middle for muting and unmuting my mic, because the primary use of this is meant for streamers, but I wanted to try for gaming too. There are plenty of options, I'm sure others have covered those, I just want to focus on using this for gaming. And then I have the right pedal set to character functions. I've noticed a lot of Mirage players just send their decoys out and that's it, especially in battle where you don't have time to hit that key. But having it on the foot pedal means I can take control or let them go without messing with my aim or movement. It's also really good while using Vantage. You can send Echo out, jump to it, then recall. So you don't give away your position by just leaving Echo to follow you. For competitive players who want an extra advantage to allow them to play more freely, I think this is amazing. I highly recommend trying one. Plus it helps with coordination and forces you to move your legs a bit more while playing. I actually bought an electronic drum kit just to improve my coordination. Not for this, but just in general. I like to challenge myself, push boundaries and see what I can do. However, there are some downsides. For one, if you're a pro, I doubt they're going to let you install software and take this around to LAN events, so it's probably best you don't use these. If you're only playing at home, then no problem, all good. And I couldn't get it working in Quake Live. I'm told others could, but I think it's because it's running the keys through the software, and Quake doesn't like that. That might also explain the next problem, which is while it does work in CSGO, when testing the latency in this, it's about 100 milliseconds higher than the mouse. I've tried stamping on it really hard, using both feet, and even my hands. So even when I compress it, to the point where it's about to activate, it's still about 100 milliseconds higher. So I'm still thinking the latency is somewhere in the software, but Elgato says it's just harder to press down. So I'm not sure. It's fine for what I use in Apex, they're not latency sensitive commands. And because I don't play any game with leaning, I can't really comment if this is okay or not, but it did seem okay to me because I don't think people rapidly lean, do they? I can't imagine that's an advantage, so... I think it might be okay. Hopefully someone in the comments can let us know. So it isn't a perfect product, but it is a really good one. And for me, it's exactly what I wanted. I love being able to have extra commands at my feet while gaming, because it means I can play more freely. As in, I don't have to take a finger away from my movement or other abilities. I can just set it to the foot pedals. So a big thanks to Corsair, because without their help, I wouldn't have been able to get one of these in Australia. Which is the last problem I should mention. They've been on back order for months. So hopefully more become available here in Australia. I don't know about overseas, but I think this could be really popular. So in short, very happy with it. Cray for freedom. Just need to fix the latency if it is indeed there. I don't know for sure. And someday maybe I'll get it working in Quake Live. Not that I really need it there, but it would be good because it works in everything else. So I hope that helps. Usual links below. Sub, like, and share. Catch up.